Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Lax and I'm doing another review. I'm going to be talking about my favorite Xbox One game. But first I'm going to be talking about the PC. What is my favorite PC game? It was actually an adventure game and it was my favorite. Um, my favorite game was The Longest Journey. I already made a review about that in my last review and plus I'm, I really like this game called The Moment of Silence. These are two favorite games I have that I like recently. Uh, it beats all these racing games and Call of Duty, etc. Transformers. I don't know. I'm not into those really well because, I mean, I'm, I'm good at it. But <laughs> And then to showcase graphics, the best graphics and gameplay to play a game was Silent Hill 3 on the PC. Which the new Silent Hill 3D movie is coming out soon, which is based on this movie. I mean, video game. <laughs> the movie is based on this video game. So you guys gotta check it out. Um, Silent Hill for the uh, for the PC is the best way to play this game, and the graphics is incredible. And okay, and my favorite PC games of now was actually The Longest Journey and Moment of Silence. I didn't really like Dreamfall. That's the sequel. But uh, my favorite PC game um, it was those, and my favorite Xbox One game out of all my Xbox One games in my collection, gameplay wise. I really enjoyed Fusion Frenzy. You should check it out. It has so many mini games. It's just like Mario Party but for the Xbox. And it has a great use for your multi port on your Xbox uh, One. So this is a great game. And to be honest, I'm a big fighting game fan when it comes to consoles. So the best game that I would talk about, what is my favorite game out of all my collections? Oh god, I dropped Robocop. Ugh. Was Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Yes, I do have Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the Xbox One. And I enjoyed this game a lot because the graphics was really incredible. It's it's on beyond progressive scan and it's beautiful. Um, I do have that game Armageddon. Let me get it on the PlayStation 2, and it's the same thing. It's just that the game is not as high definition because the PS2 hardware was not as good. I, I have all the, cole the the collector's edition when it comes to Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation 2 because that was the only console I have right now there during that time. So these are my Mortal Kombat's. So it goes from here, then this. I do have Shaolin Temple. I don't want to say this, but I actually have that game burnt on the PS2. And it's really hard to burn P uh, Xbox One games because it's hard to get the right burner. But let me make a review on my favorite um, Xbox One game. And it's actually Mortal Kombat. And I use... I know a lot of people tell me, what's up with me with Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage is my favorite character. And... I do martial arts myself, but I gotta admit that I like Johnny Cage and especially Striker. I mean, if you, I mean, I always want to be a cop one day. I wish I was a cop. But Mortal Kombat on the Xbox is the is the best way to showcase the full graphics potential of this game. You know, I played Half Life. Um, there's these two other games too. For collector purposes, Doom, the limited edition collector's edition. This is one perfect game because it comes with Doom 1 and 2 and Ultimate Doom. This is a great game, alright? Graphics was great too. Half-Life 2. But looking at graphics wise, this is the game to see the full high definition progressive scan you can get with the, with the component cables because there is no HDMI out. Their intensifying combat would weaken and shatter the realm. And if, um, since I'm playing games, I do have this. Now, looking at the graphics, I, I really enjoy it. Oh, there's my name, Artie, in the top right. And you notice the, the look, uh, recording it from the screen, it doesn't make any blur. It doesn't make that rivet. Because it's a full refresh rate. Look at the detail when I zoom into the monitor. And my favorite character is, of course, Johnny Cage, this guy. But I really prefer using another guy. Where is he at? Well, I got to say, this guy right here, see, I can zoom into the character. It looks really amazing. That guy looks like Philip Free from um, uh, the Best of the Best series, from face wise. And I got another character. Where's Striker at? Striker, where you at, mofo? Oh, mo? I mean, Striker. He was the first guy who made a move out of everybody in the intro, if you were into this game. And they did the worst makeover. In Mortal Kombat 9, I, I agreed that they had to get 
this guy out. Um, see, look at these. This graphics is incredible. Motaro has been revised in this game big time. There's Baraka. Motaro, they actually took his ass out. Originally, he was supposed to be a four-legged little creature. Not little, but big mother. Yeah. But this is Striker. I'm going to pick him. Striker. Striker. Round one. Fight! Get over here! Yeah, I wish I could imitate Wall. Oh. And look at the detail on this. Wow, I can pan my camera in here in this high depth. It's amazing. If I can fix the strike on Fight! No slowdown, perfect control. Now, I don't really approve that Striker actually looks at the camera when you're fighting the game, but I like Striker, he's really cool. And here's a little tip. Who really defeated Goro in Mortal Kombat 1 was Johnny Cage. Yes, because when you look at this collector's edition, it shows Johnny Cage and Goro as a face-to-face -face enemy. Liu Kang right now is a freaking zombie. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but he looks pimp. Su Lao, it looks like a straight out ugh, Republic of China. They have so many characters. Look at this guy. He has flies all over him. He stinks like shit. They also have this other guy here, Meat. And I don't know what this is, Sec, uh, they have so many different characters, Raiko, Sub-Zero, and they have alternative skins. Well, let's try Liu Kang. This is actually the only Mortal Kombat game I have for the Xbox, and this is my only way to play. Oh, I'm gonna fight this guy named after Latin called Baracho. They call him Baracho. And the background's gonna be fit. Now I'm gonna play as Liu Kang. Acts like a Jeet Kune Do. The graphics is very, very near close. I mean, the speed and the resolution is very, very identical to Mortal Kombat 9. And then, uh, oh, there's my mom calling me. I gotta help out my mom. But as you can see, this is the best way to play an Xbox game. The graphics is incredible. I wish I had Mortal Kombat Shaolin Temple on the Xbox. And then, um, as you can see, this is the best way. And it also has its own um, graphics of games. Right? I mean, what game was that? It has that Mortal Kombat Conquest type of game. So you have a third person gaming and then you can do the one on one fighting. And there was another game that's based on a movie that's actually fun to play. I have the Terminator series on the Xbox. I do enjoy Terminator as a video game. They actually make great video games. Betasoft made great games in the past for the PC. So I do have Terminator Dawn of Faith. This is a great example of a good gameplay. Then they made this lousy first person game. Um, I didn't really like this one because it doesn't really have these kind of Terminators. It has their own made up Terminators just like this one. But this is the best uh, movie adaptation. I mean, they should have released this game first. Or have them as a double pack. But no. I don't know what's up with Atari. They messed up their marketing scheme when it came to the Terminator franchise and the games. And there's a lot of franchise that went to hell. Um, oh, here's another game. Uh, Spy Hunter that has The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. It didn't go well as well either. But this is a great game too. Indigo Prophecy. Alright. Indigo Prophecy was a great game. Adventure game. I have it for the PC. And it's very, very, very identical to the PC counterpart. But the resolution of graphics is low. Now I'm going to put the Midway Treasures. And that's the good part about having Mortal Kombat Armageddon because you do have access to play Ultimate Mortal Kombat I believe. Was it? Oh no, you have that one other game in there, but you get to play the classic games under an emulation. Midway uh, Arcade Treasures is the best way to play on, uh, on the Xbox. I do have it there, and I do have the PlayStation 2 version. 
but I don't recommend the PlayStation 2 version.